All right, so now we'll be checking out a double room. So if you can follow me in, let's get going. Here we have a double space. So you'll see each side has its own closet. So for per, per person over here, we have two desks and two beds, and then there's window space here, just to get you an idea of what it looks like and the amount of space you have in this room. And this is a shared bathroom right here. And so you'll see that there's two sinks for each side. And then there is a shower space here. And then the bathroom here with the toilet. And remember, Res Life Office provides toilet papers. So you don't need to bring that. It's pretty spacious. And then we'll be going into your suite, or suite space, basically. And this is your suite space. This is the other room, the other two roommates that you'll have and pretty much the same setup. So now we're gonna go into one of the living room spaces. Um, this one is the Atherton living room and Atherton hall. Come on in. So this is one of the living rooms in the freshman dorms. We have three, um, one in each complex. This one has a piano. These rooms are used as study spaces. They have bathrooms, uh, community spaces as well. Uh, and they're just here open 24 seven for students to come do any work, hang out together, uh, and just build community. Um, the other living rooms also have TVs in there so you can come watch a movie with folks um, and just hang out and do the things. So now we're gonna show you um, the Res Life office. This is one of the offices located in the first year complex and very helpful um, for a lot of students. So if you come on in, you can see the office here. You can find some cool people. Um, like our professional staff in Res Life, as well as RAs throughout the night, and other housing staff that can help you with just recording a card. Um, if you need toilet paper, cleaning supplies, vacuums, anything like that, you can find it here. Um, occasionally through a traditional year, we would have small programming um, and just a few other cool things that you can find in the office. All right, now we have the shared kitchen space. So if you all come on in this way, you can see the kitchen. So this is, one, this is one of our kitchens that is a first year complex where most of our students can cook together. They can hang out, make some ramen, or bake some cookies. Um, it's a shared space. We, make, we tell students to keep it clean, um, and clean them after themselves. Um, but this is the size of it, this is what it looks like. And we do have a refrigerator that most people label their food and put, them, put it in if you don't have a mini fridge in your room. All right, so now we have one of our study rooms. This is a place where students can hang out, study, and enjoy the beautiful view. We have study rooms all across the complex. Um, and some of them also have printers so that you can print whatever you need to print. Um, so it is pretty convenient. This one doesn't have a printer, but we have almost one on each floor that has a printer. So now we're going to be showing you one of the laundry rooms in the first year complex. Um, so this is the laundry space. You can pay with your ID card with this little machine. Uh, and upload something called Claremont Cash, which you'll learn more about, or you can pay with quarters as well. Usually there's a machine open, um, but it's a shared space, so everybody must take care of it, um, as well as being responsible for your own clothing. So as part of our many indoor study areas, we also have outdoor study areas. So this is an example of one of our balconies that we have, so you can study outside. Um, most of our study rooms, like I mentioned, have an outdoor study area for you as well. 